Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller with 7 News and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. A corrections officer in Attica is suspended without pay over a social media post he claims was a joke that mocked the victims of Saturday's mass shooting at Tops. The Department of Corrections telling us Tuesday it's seeking to fire Officer Gregory Foster II over the post and may seek criminal charges. Foster has worked at the Attica Correctional Facility since 1997. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden came to the Queen City Tuesday to pay their respects to the victims and grieve with the community. They went directly to the memorial set up outside the tops and laid flowers there before going to the Delavan Grider Community Center to personally meet the victims families, first responders and community leaders. Tops has announced it's helped create a survivors fund, putting half a million dollars into it to get started. Now they're asking for donations that will directly go to the families of the 10 people who were killed and the three people who were wounded and anyone who was there at the time and was traumatized by the events that unfolded on Saturday. Now let's check in on our forecast with meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski. Well, we got a chilly night on the way. A frost advisory for areas south of Buffalo will have temperatures going into the mid 30s. Any sensitive vegetation you'll want to take precautions to cover it up. Now 40 degrees near Buffalo. There will be some frosty spots between Northern Erie and Genesee County as well, which are not within the advisory. Looking at our forecasted temperatures dropping into the mid 30s across the southern tier and again right near that 40 degree mark for Buffalo. Into our Wednesday afternoon, we're in the lower 60s. Now we are going to stay dry for much of our day on Wednesday. Even by noon, we just have a little more cloud cover between three and around five. Some scattered showers come in. This continues into the uh, uh, overnight and early on Thursday before things really warm up by the end of the week.